Hello, I'm Andy and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 and this let's play on Buy Real Farm. So, um, we are planting potatoes. Uh, it's going to be a bit expensive because it does cost quite a lot to plant the potatoes. But, uh, it's going to be good. We have planted one, two, three fields, and this is the fourth, and we have five in total. So, I'm hoping we're gonna get a nice profit out of this. We're renting this plant, by the way. And uh, let's see where we end up financially. But I'm hoping it's gonna be good. I think we're gonna make some good money from potatoes. I hope. Well, we'll see. We'll find out. Eventually, we'll find out how. What will do? Right, well, we'll just move around here. Oh dear! I didn't. Oh. Sometimes it just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Oh dear. So now I'm planting. No, we're not. Why is it doing this? Stop. <laughs> so odd. Really odd. Okay. Let's try this again. No? Something is odd. I don't know why. What it's doing? It doesn't want to. I don't know why it did that. We'll see. Maybe it was something with my little Joy software. I want to see either. Oh, it should work. I don't know. Don't know why it didn't. <sighs> so what about it? What else? Are we are going to uh, fertilize this also. And we need to fertilize the other fields we have going there also one more time. Which we'll do after this. And then might plant some more trees while we're waiting for these things to grow so we can harvest them. Our third season in the game is going quite well. I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't want to do all of this. should race it, it didn't race it, I don't know why it doesn't race it. Okay, let's see now. Looks up. No, it doesn't lower. Why doesn't it do that? Ah, <sighs> let's see. Alt X. Alt X, three, Alt one. Really odd. It should. I don't know why it doesn't do it. It just stopped. <laughs> it's odd. Just stopped doing what I wanted to do. Wonder why. So, we're still enjoying our John Deere. I would like to upgrade it, or at least buy a newer one with less hours on it, but it's not happening anytime soon. Because that would be a quite hefty investment on our farm. So Maybe after this, when we sell the players, we might be able to get some 
more better equipment. Did I get this up here? Now it did. Now it worked. Now it worked. <laughs> so odd. Sometimes like why didn't it work just before? Okay, if you there's a link in the top of the description to a tutorial on where I use Joystick Key for this set setup, so I can have like an order steer function with Joystick Key and the guidance steering mod together with that. Uh, so go check that out if, if you're wondering how to do it. It's not it's quite simple, but uh, it's interesting. It's one way of doing it anyway. <laughs> Hope everyone is doing having a nice summer. Um, I'm having a nice summer vacation time. I definitely needed a vacation. The last few weeks or last month or so before I got get my vacation, I was in s just uh, there was so much go going on on my work. And I was just w overloaded with stuff happening all of the time. And uh, it was just, no, just didn't work. Uh, we had these, uh, we do these things called umiddelbara omhändeltagande, which is a, a law term, judicial term, legal term, I'm sorry. Um, and basically means when we have to remove a child from a home for some reason. And it, whenever you start one of those, it, it's basically a full-time job for the next four weeks. So at the end of my vacation, before my vacation, uh, uh, two weeks before I ended my started my vacation, I had two of those. One Monday, one Tuesday. And that's basically what you do from, on, from that point on. And uh, that's a bit hard bit it's very hard uh, and I didn't have enough time I didn't have it was like chaos basically and I had some stuff lying around it wasn't pretty and the problem is that during vacation time and with sure on staff I know from experience prior experience that nothing will happen ie um, doesn't matter what you do if you don't do it before vacation it won't happen so I was trying to get all of the stuff to, cl to click to everything to work uh, all the stuff to be done before my vacation because I knew it wouldn't happen on my year my vacation so and that would be a bit problematic unfortunately so but that's the way it goes In the meanwhile, in Farming Simulator, we are planting potatoes. It does use a lot of potatoes for planting, which is understandable, I think. If you look at how many potatoes are planted all the time there. <sighs> oh, sorry. I don't know how potato farmers do it. Do they have, like switch between potatoes and other crops? Well, they just plant potatoes and what about rotation of crops do they rotate between planting potatoes and and uh, what's it called it's fallow do you have like fallow sometimes potatoes so potatoes are actually quite good income in Sweden so and we're going to make ecological potatoes, so 
hopefully that will be slightly higher yield even so but I don't think there's a huge difference between reg between regular potatoes and, and ecological potatoes unfortunately but it will be slightly higher but we'll plant will the plan is to um, go between mostly canola and potatoes so canola and potatoes and switching the fields around and then um, canola is a really good price ecologically ecological uh, if it's grown ecological ecologically sorry <laughs> um, and potatoes is good price by itself so hopefully we'll this will be a good deal for us I'm hoping we'll see we'll we'll see the financial aspect of it later so we're just going season one of transforming it into an ecological farm or growing farm which means that we have uh, um, this year we won't get any that price next year we won't get any price and then next year again that's when we're gonna make money from the ecological growing part so i'm gonna try to get all the rotations set up so at that point we'll actually be growing canola on most of the other fields and potatoes on this one so this one will be potatoes these ones will be potatoes and canola and we have a little bit of wheat up there and then next season we'll probably go like barley or something on most fields and on this field we'll grow well, maybe barley too so or maybe we'll just keep this potatoes i don't know um and then the next year again we'll go canola uh, on the fields and potatoes on these i think or we'll go canola and everything maybe that could also be a plan just growing canola on everything because that would make a lot of dough hopefully but we'll see when we get there there's a bit left I would need to I need to need to service my tractor soon Actually, if you look at what's done before it's time for harvest, it's just fertilizing, and that's it. After, after we're done with this, it's just fertilizing left. That's pretty okay. That's good. I think that will be definitely a sort of, that's an easy task to do I'm looking forward to no I'm sorry I forgot to what to say sorry do the other stuff then we'll do the headland, headlands last maybe I should just go into players so ecological players I don't know what, how much you would get for that I need to check that out how much would you get for ecological potatoes uh, I don't know actually Uh, 
Interesting. Well, I need to find out. I need to try to find out what a farmer would get for ecologically grown potatoes. I'm trying to do this potato planting as you would in real life. So, so just up and down and then you'll do the headlands last. In real life they do plant with... They put... Uh, some uh, fertilizers in with it. You can do that with this, this plant, but I haven't done it. So. But I should have, probably should have, should have done it. The sort of lanes get slightly weird here because they go in some... It would be interesting if they just always followed the direction of the tractor, but here they go, like sideways, which I think is a little weird. Hey, well, we can't do anything. Well, you we can't do much about it anyway. One, two, three euros left, and then the headlands. Yay, I'm almost done with this field. Looks weird that it's all green there in the distance. And then we need to refill our plant again with the seed to do another one, because that last field there is quite big, actually. So it's going to take a little while to plant. How do you make the potato plant go? Does it have like an engine on it or is it pneumatic or it's just hooked up on a trailer hitch there so I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. this last little bit left and then we're done with the up and down lanes. So late spring in this geo, geo version uh, and then that's when you get about 6 degrees, well in this case 6 degrees in the ground so you can start planting. 14 degrees in the air. I do know they grow a lot of potatoes down in south southern part of Sweden. Not so much up here. I will guess or here too, but I can say that I have seen that much fields of potatoes planted. A lot more down south and on Gotland and Ireland and stuff, but uh, not so much here. In the parts of Sweden where I live and this farm is situated. I don't know if that has to do with the climate or why it is, but But it is. It is what it is. Almost done. It does go quite fast with a plant like this. This is a pretty wide planter, so it does go pretty wide. Pretty wide, pretty fast, I mean. Wide. <laughs> Goes pretty wide. Anyway, I'm gonna stop recording there and we'll see you next time when we it might be fertilizing or we might be doing something else or maybe it's time for harvest we'll see where we will be in time i'm andy if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this episode please hit like button, leave a comment or share and take care everyone see you soon bye bye